Let's worried. have a quick look. Uh, I don't want to get a little one. Uh, Logan's going to have come the on, satisfaction. Let's see the eyes. There we are. Not too bad. I mean, I was in a fist fight, but he looked worse. He was running the whole time. You know? Yeah. I wanted to fight. He was running. Mr. Dylan Dennis wasn't pushing forward to fight Logan Paul. He was pushing forward to kiss him because it is 110% very obvious. Everyone knew this from day one that Dylan Dennis is fully in love and obsessed with Logan Paul. He makes Romeo and Juliet, the notebook, the notebook, all of them look like rookies. The reason he was roasting Logan Paul's fiance, soon to be wife, you know, posting all these things, exposing, hating on her so much is because of the fact that he wanted Logan Paul for himself. Even if you pay attention to the details in their fight, he actually got on his back and he said, Chaka like a boom boom me omelette style in front of everyone. I'm tired of hiding uh, my love for you. Bro is so in love with Logan Paul that the first time they met face to face, Bro caved. You sent me so many messages. Then why am I? Well, uh, 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 I tuned him, uh, knee sir. And around the same time last year, it was one of the funniest times, most enjoyable drama beef happening on the internet ever when you wake up in the morning you're sipping your coffee and chatak dylan dennis with a new roast coming up it was really entertaining to watch not because of the fact that dylan was posting just nina pictures left and right i don't need to show you any of those but the whole beef was just very entertaining and dylan was winning most of the battles in this war sometimes in person once they were like battling logan paul won a few rounds overall it was very entertaining until the actual fight happened and it was pure disappointment the amount of tickets dylan Dylan sold throughout the whole month before the whole fight happening. He was the one who hyped it up and made this whole thing as big as it was. But after all that hype, it was like the Avengers making a new movie, hyping it up, just advertising it everywhere. And when people show up in the cinema, fucking Barney Toy Story was playing. It, it would have been a historical night if Dylan Dennis won that night. Not gonna lie. It, it was like the France versus Argentina and the World Cup. If only the goalkeeper wasn't unlucky, the whole night would have had a different outcome. But Dylan in that fight showed what kind of a big crying baby that he is. He just showed his true internet warrior keyboard personality. And ever since that night, his own audience just shat on him and just decided to forget about him. And ever since, he's you know, still trying to come back from that. Now, we also discussed in one of the videos that Nina... Logan Paul's fiance is suing Mr. Dylan Dennis. Why is she suing Dylan Dennis? Well, I don't think that's a question you should be asking if you've seen all the photos that he's been sharing. It's a defamation lawsuit. She's claiming that he hacked into some of the accounts, some devices, and took those photos because those photos were buried so deep that they would have never seen the light of day. And how did you find it? You need to show me how exactly. And that's when Dylan Dennis was hit with a $150,000 lawsuit. And after looking like an absolute donkey in front of everyone embarrassing himself, he would not quit. He would still try to troll Logan Paul. After Logan Paul revealed that, you know, there's going to be another poll added to the family in April of 2024. This donkey posted an AI picture of... I don't need to explain this. You already know what this means. It's just very sad to see someone this desperate for attention for that ad revenue from twitter and i know at this point he knows that people are gonna be like oh put the fries in the bag we don't care about you you fell off you're a donkey you embarrass yourself you're an embarrassment to all the keyboard warriors on twitter but this is just my opinion he knows everyone's gonna hate on him but he thinks this hate is gonna turn into views and that's gonna he's gonna get some cash out of the ad revenue literally his whole twitter page is just full of trolling different people mainly logan paul apparently he's Super, super, super obsessed with this guy. I'm telling you, it's love. I like to take back the ad revenue Twitter thing. It's actually purely out of love. And he's just being a toxic person in the relationship between him and Logan Paul because he's jealous of Nina. He even tried to join UFC after Logan Paul KSI. Everyone told him that he's banned from all these events. He will never compete. He went back to Dana White and said, see how good I promoted a fight. You definitely need me in UFC. I can trash talk and promote fights just like Conor McGregor. And Dana White hit him with a shut up get out of my face dylan dennis in the ufc is that something that you'd ever entertain I don't know, do you think you should be and i have no beef with the kid at all i've never i've probably said two words to him in my whole life every time he's around shit's shit's going down you know what i mean you know a lot of people will see like uh when guys get into it on stage or something starts to happen they're like oh they must love this or whatever no no we don't love it and we can't have that stuff going on here now you're probably thinking it can't get any sadder than that well, you're absolutely wrong because it just got sadder. Dylan Dennis's lawyer quits Nina Adgo defamation case after not getting paid. Now, Adgo filed a defamation lawsuit against Dennis just weeks later, which has been tied up to a legal system for a year due to a various issues like him failing to appear in court further delaying the proceedings. On September 12, 2024, Dennis lawyers filed a motion 
to withdraw at as his attorney citing failure to comply with the terms of firm's retainer agreement the retainer agreement among other things required a defendant to pay a retainer and to pay the firm's monthly invoice within 20 days to ensure that the retainer remains evergreen the defendant has failed to pay the firm's monthly invoices in timely fashion and has failed to maintain the required retainer agreement at the agreed upon level this has been creating issues in addition the defendant has become non-responsive to counsel's communications including communications regarding orders to entered by the court defendant only responded to the communication regarding the issues referred above when i communicated that i would be withdrawing as counsel so imagine not showing up to your own court ignoring your lawyers your attorneys phone calls for what reason well here it says that dylan danis's net worth is two million dollars now to this day i still don't know how the court in u.s works everyone each state has like a different law a different rule but where i live and most people live if you miss a court date you know you're gonna get into trouble you're gonna be issued a fine and in some cases arrested if his net worth is two million dollars why is he not paying a return of fee for his own attorney that is protecting him or why not just dismiss the whole case and just accept the fact and just pay the fine for hundred fifty thousand dollars the only logical thing that can come to my head is bro is broke bro is broke as shit because on his latest twitter thingy he is promoting gambling obviously the rent is due so he gotta do what he gotta do i guess it can't be the fact that he doesn't want to deal with this pay the attorneys pay the lawyers pay you know attend in the court and just dismiss the whole thing as if you know everyone's just going to forget about it if he has a two million dollars anyone with logic sense would try to fight it at least pay your attorney to fight the only logical thing i can think of is he's broke and that's the reason also another hint is the fact that he's promoting gambling but hey, again, he's no stranger to promoting scam. Allegedly, obviously. Did I say allegedly? Because it is allegedly, allegedly, because allegedly. His lawyer also said that he would prefer to, you know, represent him because he likes uh, Mr. Dennis and he would he finds this case an interesting one. But his firm told him that if you're not getting paid, we are not continuing to represent Mr. Dennis, which is fair. This came out after the court ordered Dennis to provide the phone used to make the social media post, but he failed to do so, stating he couldn't find it. So long story short, bro is cooked. He's going to be in debt. His whole reputation is cooked. His whole career is cooked. He will never join UFC. And I would say I would wish him to make a comeback. But like I said in the last video that I literally posted that I do not support anyone who supports gambling and promotes gambling but let's see what the future brings maybe he's gonna pull a nicovado avocado poop move on us and says i am always three steps ahead and just pops out of nowhere and makes a comeback we don't know what's going to happen but so far it is he is 100 sitting inside the closet looking at logan paul's photo and crying because the love of his life his fiance is suing him and logan paul absolutely hates him and he's going to stay inside the closet about the whole thing Anyway, just wanted to talk about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. Take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.